Yo, what up there, guys? I am here today to talk to you about the newest addition to the auto splitter, and that is the in game timer. So, as we know, the in game timer is what we use when it comes to our speedruns for the actual time value instead of real time. And now, Live Split is actually able to read that in game timer. Uh, I started working on it last night, and it only took like 30 or 40 minutes, and I was done. So, uh, realistically, it should have took a lot less time than that, but I was stupid, and you know, whatever, it's fixed now. So, um, so normally we would have this uh, comparing to real time, and all these splits would be just the real time timer. But now you can actually uh, use this to see what kind of in game time you have as like uh, some of the best, and see what actual time you're going to get for the leaderboard rather than just kind of guessing. This also takes out a lot of the uh, groundwork from back in the day whenever people would just be like, oh yeah, I have like a theoretical in-game time of this because, you know, I've got this good time on this segment, you gotta like add them up or like guess, you know, kind of like, oh yeah, I had this one run with this one good part, blah blah blah, well now you don't have to guess, so. The way this works is, um, it's checking the IGT value. Um, and then it will change to that value wherever it's at. Um, if there's like loads and stuff, um, it kind of goes ahead of it for a second, but then it'll like it'll go right back to the number it needs to be. And that's just because um, life is just like constantly checking uh, the in-game time value. And then things like the cutscenes where um, you know DJ Professor K is talking. If you're skipping those, it it skips along with it. You can see it like moving, and I'll show you that whenever I do a uh, garage in a second. But the best way to set this up now in Live Split um, to get the in-game time rather than RTA is the first thing I did. I went to Edit Layout. I added two timers. So the first timer is going to be constantly on game time. Like it's going to be comparing to game time, like no matter what. Um, the second timer is always real time. Reason for that is you always want to have the real time on there just for verification purposes and helps make it to where you can add up the time at the end easier for speedrun.com submissions. And at this point in time, I mean, real time is kind of a formality. It's more or less there just for, uh, you know, checking the older runs that don't have IGT on it to see like how they compare. And also for, you know, verification of, like, cheating stuff. But uh, it's nice to have it there just, you know, just in case. Um, but, yeah, I have one selected that's always game time. And then when it comes to the rest of Life Split itself, just go to compare against and then choose game time. And this will make it to where all the splits, um, the possible time saves, some of the best... All the other deltas and fun stuff you have will be compared to the actual in-game timer now. Um, so let me do a quick garage and I will talk about um, how to get, if you're an emulator player and you want to get like your some of best in there and stuff, um, what I did was just go back through your older runs, choose whichever one you have. It doesn't have to be like the oldest, but just choose one that's like a few runs back that you have. Check the uh, the times on the splits. Put that in throughout the entire run of that older run. Then take a newer run that's better, newer PR. Do the same thing and you just keep doing that over and over again until you get to like your newest run, and then eventually you should have like a somewhat accurate sum of best. It may not have like every single run, you know, that you've ever done, but us emulator players shouldn't have that many runs anyways, at least PRs yet, because there's not, hasn't been going on that long and people haven't been playing re really regularly anyways. Um, and I'll show you what I mean more in a second, but right now you can see that top timer is going exactly with what the timer says. Um, it's going to skip forward with DJ Professor Case talking here in a second. So you can see it's skipping forward right now. 
during loads, like I said, it might get a little bit ahead, like right now. But then it like moves back. You can see it like jump back, and now it's back in line. Um, same thing with this load here. It'll like keep going, but then it stops and like gets back on track. So that's like the only time it's gonna like really look weird <laughs> during those cutscenes and loads like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, like I said, so if you want to get your sum of best pretty quickly, you just go in, make sure. You go to Edit Splits, go to the Game tab, Game Time tab, and uh, what you're going to do is grab your run, with like f f older run first, worst run first, uh, go in, look and see where the timer split, like where the split happened, and what the time was IGT was, and then input that IGT time. And you're only going to mess with split times. You're not going to mess with segment times or best segments because live split's going to fill in that stuff for you. So once you have your run fully done, grab a better run, do the exact same thing. Just look for the splits, put in the split times, and it'll calculate if it was a better segment, blah, blah, blah. You just keep doing that until you get to your actual PR, and eventually you'll have all of your best segments in there and then you'll be able to see what kind of actual IGT time uh, you could get currently which is down here if you have that Delta set up um, that information but yeah uh, it's pretty nifty um, it'll you know it still resets and everything just like it has been, um, but now it actually will show you the in-game time if you want it. So there you go. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. If you have, um, oh yeah, there is one thing you can't really um, show centiseconds or milliseconds. Um, reason being, when I was coding it, <laughs> the um, the way it was working was it was actually moving things over one um so for example if i start another run I'll, I'll show you what i mean so right now you know this has on the game it has the you know since seconds running on the timer we only have just regular seconds if i try and change it you can see it's like messed up like it doesn't know what to do <laughs> and the reason for that is uh, when I was first coding this and looking at it, um, it had everything moved over one place. So the seconds were in the minutes slot, the minutes were in the hours slot, and etc. So it was just like a huge number. So I had to divide it by 60. So it's constantly dividing the current IGT by 60, and I think that is what's screwing up the... Uh, Sent a seconds here, <laughs> so you're not going to be able to really use that, but it doesn't really matter because uh, we go by seconds anyways on the leaderboard, and there's not really that many ties where you would need to use that. And if you if you did need to use the send a seconds, you would just look at literally the in game time on side of the inside the game on the uh, end goal screen, you know, whatever. But yeah, um, other than that. It's working great. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any ways to make it better, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got for today. So uh, have a good one, and I guess I'll see you next time.